Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. How are you doing? I hope you are well. We are on the Hubstruck of Munich to Augsburg. Or, no, strike that, reverse it. Augsburg to Munich. Yes, we are on the class 375 and you can see something. No, that way. Just in the corner there, you can see a class 377. Because from today's title, we have got class 375 versus the class 377. Who's going to win? Well, you will find out. So, we're on the gorgeous class 375 southeast delivery. That's right from the southeastern high speed. And over here, as we're going towards it, is the class 377. That's right. In the southern livery. Class 377 is from the East Coastway route on Tracy World 2. Coming up with 12 coaches. The same as the Class 375. 12 coaches. The 377. Um, this is the 377 uh, slash 4. Whereas the 375 is the slash 9 edition. Uh, not too sure the differences between the two. Other than the coupling is different. And also uh, the... 377, the southern one, does have these little cameras on the outside to have a look at what passengers are getting on board or not. Whereas the 375 is slightly older, so it doesn't have that. But other than that, I don't really know the difference other than the livery. Um, but we will find out on this gorgeous video that we're going to do. 375 versus 377. Now, the reason why I went for this route is because... Um, with the Great Western Express, we like doing the Great Western Express with other things as well. We did the Class 800 ICE versus the HST on there. And I thought, you know what, let's do the other route that has the four tracks going there so we can see how we get on there. So, let's get aboard and let's set up our train right now. Um, just as uh, something to let you know, of, um, even though it says 12.03 on the uh, timer, on the clock the 377 is due to go out at 12 o'clock 1205 sorry on the dot whereas we started this at midday on the dot so that's why we have a little bit of time to set up make sure our brakes are off make sure our lights are on make sure we've got our passenger information screen set correctly because as we know the 377 will probably have not in service whereas the 375 we want to have something a little bit more um special might I say. So we do have quite a few kilometers to go um, on this route. It is non-stop to Munich so let's see how we got on with that. Um, as you can see through the map go all the way down there, all the way over there, all the way south and west and east and all that. No it's east to Munich. So yeah that is kind of what our plan of action is today. 56 kilometers to get to there. Um, who will win? Well you will find out. Will it be the 377? Or will it be the 375? Hmm. It's an interesting one there. Well, hopefully you're going to enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to enjoy this video because I, I mean, I've, 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 I've done the video. You know, I've, I've played it. So I've driven these trains so I know what the video is going to turn out like. So don't skip ahead. Just watch it from beginning to end. And you will see some amazing stuff happen on this route. Look at that, the special livery. Try and take some screenshots, you know, as you do. I say as you do, that's what I'm trying to do as part of this. So we start leaving in 10 seconds and then we'll hear the gorgeous trains, the 377 and the 375, uh, do that. So 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and it's 3.05, so let's wait for that 377 to accelerate, and then we can accelerate ourselves. I am looking down at the video screen. So I can see when that goes and I can say the uh, the famous words. Go, 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 go. That's right. We are leaving Augsburg onto Munich. So let's watch this go. Look at the acceleration of the 375. And let's listen to the, the sights and sounds. And then you will join Megasim in the audio studio. Anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the video.
Right then, let's see how we get on with this. So as you know, we are trying to do the 375 versus the 377. We're on the slow line, as always. The reason why is because we want our 377 over there to keep up with us um, and to go its max speed. We want to try and go head to head. This is kind of like the, uh, what you might call it, the HST versus the Class 800 uh, ICE. Um, just as a reminder, that's what we did. It was a versus, but as you know, we just went head on, he head to head, catching up with each other. So, yeah. But we want to do that because this is how we roll. We want to see the difference between the gorgeous 375 in the southeastern colours and the southern 377. And here he comes. Here he comes up, up from the back. Let's uh, get a good view of that. Oh, look at that reflection. That is cool. Just like that. Oh yeah. Be nice if I could get rid of the uh, picture symbol on the top right, but never mind. There we go. So let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. <laughs> look at that. Look, I am going full power, and it is getting further and further away from us. But we'll get back. We'll get back into uh, into the lead. But will the 377 get a better acceleration? We've noticed that the 375 does have a better acceleration than the 377. But overall, will the 377 win or will it be the 375? Well, we've got to find out because we're on the slow line. So there may be some points where, you know, we will be going faster than we should. Um, so hopefully we won't derail. But at the same time, as you can see, the 377 is getting to its top speed. So that means that the 375 is slightly quicker. Interesting. Interesting stuff there. And, uh, you know, the general knowledge of this is the 377 and the 375 are very similar. There we go. Oh, look at that. We are heading into the lead. Does look gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's what we like to see. And don't forget, as always, we have got a nice 60 frames per second going on on this train. Will the 377 catch up? Well, let's wait and see. Because look, it's slowly increasing its speed. We are going 147 kilometers an hour. And what is that on our speedometer? That is just over 90 miles an hour. But it's slowly catching up now. I have turned off the motion blur, it just got a little annoying. It does look nicer with this versus that we switch it off. But I know you guys all wanted to see this, so this is what we've got. We are coming slightly off because we've probably got some stations coming up, so we are getting further and further away. But there we go, the 377 has taken the lead once again. Let's get back to a nice bit of footage of the 375. Look at that. So it does get... Once it's got its speed, it's got a good momentum. Whereas, you know, the 375, as you can see, once you start putting your power on, it does take a little while to kind of get back up to that speed. Whereas the 377 did have that edge. Hopefully this is going to be just as good as the uh, Class 800 ICE versus the HST, but... I'm guessing it may not be as popular, uh, but it's worth trying it out anyway. So hopefully you are enjoying this, guys. Enjoying this, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoying this 
passengers. Oh, yes. So, this was recorded before Roadmap Day. So, I just wanted to ask, what are your thoughts on the Roadmap? Did you like that new edition? Did you like the news about X being the next route? And Y being the... Oh, yeah, it's amazing. See, it's pre-recorded, so... I don't know. But yeah, leave a comment down below. What are you excited about? Let me know. It'd be good to hear. Now, we are going 166 kilometers an hour, which is over 100. And the 377 is still edging. Edging its way further forward. Look at that. We are not in the lead. But what we can do is we can have a look here. And then we can see that now we're neck and neck. And we're going to start taking it. Look. Going to start taking it back now. So that's good. We're going 175 kilometers an hour. That's almost 110 miles per hour. That is over the top speed that this train can cope with. This train should only be going 90. Well, no. There we go. Max speed. 100. We're going 109, 110. So we just need to be careful. That is right. Ladies and gentlemen, please be careful on our train as we speed on the Augsburg to Munich line. That's right. We're slowly catching back up now. Look at that. That's a, that's a good shot right there. Yes. There we go. It's actually quite a nice route, really. You know, look at that. I say neck and neck, he is eight cars ahead, but we are slowly catching up here. Uh, if we have a look, you know, we've still got quite a way to go. Look at that, we've only done maybe a quarter, a third of the route so far. Yes. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's do what we do best. and Let's get the uh, full heat and have it on the max because that's what we want. As you can see here, we are slowly catching up now. We are now only six coaches away from being front. Let's switch our hazards on and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have found out that the hazard symbol, the hazard lights, do not work on this train. Whereas they do on the 377, they do flash. So I'm very surprised by that, really. But all our safety systems are isolated, which is good. That's what we want to see. As you can see, we are a special, whereas these guys are on a not in service. But I don't mind, I don't care. It's all good to me. Mega Zoom! Oh, yes! Will we catch up? We probably will. We probably will. Look at that, we got 39 kilometers before we arrived at Munich. What would have been good is for me to actually check how many kilometers it was in total. But no, why would I do that? <laughs> oh, this is exciting stuff. Look at that, as we edge our way towards them. We're gonna beat you, Southern! So yeah, Southeastern versus Southern. Who's gonna win? Well, you know who's gonna win. Well, I don't know yet, because we've got to stop at the station as well. So, let's see. We're not going at the same speed as the ICE, or the TGV, or, or even the uh, Class 395. But we are going at a good speed now. Look at that. 110 miles an hour. That's a good speed there. Let's have a look outside. And also, don't forget, everyone, we do have the whistle on board. Look at that. So we have gone through this station, as you can see. Uh, I have no idea what this station is called. Um, it's not Farkarton, because that's tickets, isn't it? Uh, but, ooh... Look at that, modernization. So that's that same sign that we saw on the uh, southeastern, but in German. Interesting. Right, let's go back to one because we have to load it. Oh, 
Look at this. The southern is getting further away from us. That is very interesting. The thing is, is that with the Class 43 HST versus the uh, Class 800, the difference was that the Class 43 doesn't have as good acceleration as the uh, Class 800, and the Class 800 did have a faster speed. I see. You know what I'm talking about. So when I did go behind, I could literally get back uh, in the lead, you know, pretty much within a few seconds, whereas these two trains are very similar. So, we are noticing that the Class 377 is edging away. So, it may be right at the last minute when everyone slows down that we will finally win this thing. But, I'm very sad about this. Look at that. It is flooring us. Look at that. It is getting there right. Slow down, Southern. You're making us look bad. Oi! We are our older sister. Oi! <laughs> Could have going 180 kilometers an hour now. Look at that. Now he is steaming ahead. Look at that. I cannot go any faster. But the 377 is managing to go and pass us. Look at that. By the time we come out of this fencing bit, he's probably going to be gone. Yeah, look at that. He's gone. And I can't catch up with him. Look. I am very surprised by that. Let's hope we can still do it. We have still got 28 kilometers to go. We're going 180 miles an hour. 180 kilometers an hour. But look, the southern is just edging, edging away from us. I am very confused by that. Very confused. Look. We might actually lose this, guys. We might actually lose this game. This race. Ooh, it's interesting stuff here. Now, what do you think? Why is the southern train going further away and going faster than what the, one, the 375 can do? Because I thought these trains were similar. So how is the 377 edging? I'm not even saying edging. Look at it. It's gone. It's long gone. I'm going full power. And it ain't doing it. It ain't doing it for me. Look at that. In a minute, because of the PlayStation. Not PS5, but the PlayStation, because this is how the PlayStation game is set up. The 377 is going to come out, and it's going to be taken out of the uh, scenery in front, and it's not going to load. In a few seconds, we will see that it is long gone. So we may have to catch up with it when it starts slowing down entering Munich. That's probably when we're going to be able to... Uh, to see it again which is probably a lonely 24 kilometers now because we're all on our own that southern is just long gone look he's he's gone he's out of here look oh we're going up and over which is not good does that mean that potentially we may get a red light coming up I hope not. This is the first time I've tried this, so hopefully we're not going to uh, hit any red signals, because if that happens, then this just doesn't work for us. Ah. Okay. I really, really hope we don't have an issue with this. I'm scared now. Are we going to get a red light? If we do, we're in big trouble. I 
I don't want to watch. Yep. Well, that was a failure. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to save that right there. And then we're going to come out. We're going to come back in. And if not, that was a big fail. Because I should have thought, oh yes, I, I didn't want to use Great Western Express. That was my issue. I didn't want to use Great Western Express. That's why. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to resume the saved game and see... Because we've passed this, so this is a this is a thing that people do to try and ensure that they're able to get through these red signals. Okay, um, and what it effectively does is you can save the game just as you pass the signal, and then when you resume it, you're supposed to have gone past the signal, and then it won't activate again. So I'm I've kind of bypassed the red signal, so to speak. So let's see. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it has come up with another one in one kilometer's time. Yes, yeah, right at that point. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to do it again. So there he is. See him? Don't know why he stopped. Oh. Okay, so we've bypassed the signals. Okay, that's good. I don't know why the signals are not doing anything now. But we are zooming ahead. Ah, well that's not supposed to happen. Oh, that's a, that's a big fail. I'm long gone. I am not supposed to be going down here. Okay, I think I've broken it. <laughs> oh my. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Is this it coming up? Okay, I think we've broken it. So let's... Uh, yeah, we're way out of this uh, race. Okay. No idea where we're going. Well, we bypassed the uh, signals, and then at the same time, it is. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I think we've done it, guys. We have managed to break it somehow. Oh, no. Oh. Do you know what? I want to... Oh. Can I go through this? I certainly can. Oh, yes. Let's go back in here. Yeah, I've broken it. But never mind. That's good. We've done it. Well, I think we're going to leave it here, guys. Because I can't really do much else other than this. Let's uh, put the brakes on as if we're uh, going to emergency stop, yeah? None of these buttons work, look. That works, but look, nothing. Yeah, look, none of them work anymore. Well, that was fun whilst it lasted, but thank you very much for watching. Um, this wasn't the end that I wanted. Uh, but it's good to have this because, you know, every couple of days I'm seeming to uh, go through these points and everyone's going, how have you done that? Well, watch back and you'll find out. Anyway, oh, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Megasim and uh, follow our social media links. They are in the description below. And if you do want to help support the channel, they're in their description as well. I will say a good day to you. We'll see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you later, guys. Bye.